Hello everybody. Um, today we have a different video actually. We're gonna be programming it. Um, we need to program the transmission control module for this 2013 um, Chevy um, Impala. Just wanna show you from my scanner first that they change the transmission and control module comes inside of the transmission so it has to be programmed. I'll just show you the trouble code. And you can see in here that it's gonna tell us that transmission control module is not programmed to the vehicle. All right. And if you try to get rid of this code, it's not gonna happen. We could um, try to delete it. But it's not gonna do any good. Okay, this is successful, but let me read the code again. Boom, right back up again. So I'm gonna set up my system and I'm gonna continue the video. All right, people, now we're gonna continue. All right, once we have to sign into the um, AC Delco to start the programming, and you have to have an active subscription and you have to have the, all the, um, you have to have the, um, all the files, all the program has to be um, loaded in your computer, installed in your computer before you even start. Okay, so everything is done with mine, so I'm gonna hit SPS and start SPS. All right, it says, it says it want, the Java wants to update. If you do this update, the software might not even work. So, because it works with a certain version of the Java. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna just put later. This, since the program is um, Java based, we're gonna wait for the program to load up and start so we can program our vehicle. Run, it comes with a couple of Java, Java screens. All right, it says software installation. I'm gonna skip that right now because I don't wanna have a problem. Here we go. This is the- Don't get like Keith, can I please? <laughs> you tell me to be here, I don't mind waiting. If you can't do it, just do it next day. I, I don't want to wait. Okay guys, um, so this is the programming system for the GM. I'm gonna select J2534 device because <clears throat> I'm using a Kardec M from True Technologies. I'm gonna hit the reset as well. And we're gonna do program ECU or repl replace and reprogram. The transmission was replaced in this car. So we're gonna add the second one. Next, turn the ignition off. On, you don't really have to do that. Go next. And by the way, I have my battery maintainer hooked up to the car. And um, we have a Chevy. It's 2013. And this is a passenger car. And this is an Impala. And we have to choose our pass through device. Mine is at the moment Kardak M. Kardak M works really good actually with this. I have an Autel as well. And it'll, with the pass through device, it also works pretty good with GMs. Let's make sure this is our VIN number before we go ahead and do that. Let's just check this out, guys. Mm, is it 3158? All right. That's the one. That is the one. Next. Okay, there's all the programmable modules that's in here. So we're gonna do the um, transmission control module. I believe so I guess they want to do the uh, do the ECM and TCM together I believe sometimes they both have to be programmed 
and let's see what happens. Let's communicate with the device right now. And it should be able to start program the vehicle right now. All right, it's telling us the current calibration is this. All right. Okay. So it's gonna program all these. It's gonna program all these systems in here as well. It's gonna calibrate to the new transmission. It's gonna hit next. And it's gonna do all of this. Let's see what it is there. Okay. All right, so we'll just hit next. All right. So we're gonna start. It's gonna start programming right now. It shouldn't take that long, actually. Ay, ay, ay. I hate waiting. Alright, now start the program already. This is about to start a moment. It downloaded the file already. It's just putting it right into the transmission control module right now. I believe on this car, once we um, reprogram the transmission, we don't really have to do any other routines. So, let's see what happens. Okay guys, I'm not, guys, I'm not gonna let you guys wait for the for this thing to load up. Once it's about to be loaded, I mean, uh, finish loading, I will continue the video. About 12 seconds left. Once this is done, we should be able to put it it's gonna give us the chance to clear the codes, the DTCs, all the diagnostic trouble codes. And this is almost done, guys. And then we should be good to go. Okay, programming sequence, programming results. Okay, it did not, uh, it skipped the uh, engine control module. No problem. We're gonna check it out if we have to we can reprogram that as well all right okay so our program is done without a problem let's clear dtcs and i see that there's no instructions i mean extra instructions to be um i mean actual routines to be done after the programming session sometimes you have to do it in some certain modules you have to do some stuff like if we did a um if we did a um pcm sorry ecm engine control module we would have to relearn the uh, crank position sensor uh we, ha we had to relearn it again but that's not our case right now so let's see it looks like we're good to go now i'm gonna hook up my hotel i'm gonna read the um diagnostic trouble codes and before that i want to cycle the ignition wait a little bit I'm gonna put the key in here. Put this up. I'm gonna take out this one. Okay. There's my hotel, hotel. There we go. Got this thing right up the air. Okay. Let's turn the ignition back on. And let's see if we have any codes. The transmission control module. I'm sorry for the glare, guys. It's horrible. I'm gonna try to do it right over here. Okay, let's see. Alright, let's do razor coats. Okay. Alright. Read the coats. No codes detected. All right, I wanna just in case, um, also check the ECM engine control module. Make sure there's no problem with 
communicating with the transmission control module. Let's see, control codes, read codes. Let's see. There might be some other codes, but I just want to make sure nothing related to the programming session or nothing related to the transmission just being programmed. Okay, then history, no false detected. Looks like we're good to go. But just in case, I'm gonna run a whole auto scan. I'm gonna scan the whole car just in case. Engine control module pass no fault. Transmission control module pass no fault. So this is good. So that means our um, program session was completely is successful. This car looks like it's in a good health. Everything passes. It's hard to see sometimes cars like this. HVAC control module. It has nothing to do with mine. So I'm not even gonna look at that. I'm just gonna do a quick race. Let's see. Oh, that one is gone too. Let's start the car and see what happens. Okay, check engine light or anything. Let's see. Alright. No lights on. Looks like we are good to go. And let's make sure this transmission is actually working. I'm gonna put the reverse a little bit. Yeah, it goes backwards. It goes forward. Okay, now time to place it. Now we know it's working. Now we gotta go off test for test drive to make sure everything is good. Guys, that's it for today. And um, I hope this one helps somebody. If anybody needs help or any, has questions, uh, for more details, you can leave a comment below and I will be more than happy to answer. Guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good day.